All right, welcome back fans and friends. For this video, we have a clone of the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi, the release 54, built last year of the 40th casting from M2. This is their red Mopar decorated Dodge Charger as opposed to their normal blue. I have the regular, which is would be the similar to this one. Uh, blue colored Mopar which is more normal blue and white rather than the red of this one and I happened to find this on the shelf and sadly though you can actually see right away right off the bat there's a couple of defects with the hood the car looks really nice but looking at it now you can see that there's a few defects with the uh, opening doors as well and I'm just gonna go ahead and open this I actually have a bunch of these Daytonas, like I said, that are one of my favorite vehicles, and M2 likes to repaint them. I think the the earlier series are better. I haven't opened any of them, but the op earlier series, they put plastic inserts to hold open the hood. They did a few other things, and you can see there the box. And they started cutting out where they do. They show you all the little pieces that the car breaks down into. You can see that right away. It's just a plain red with Mopar all over it and there's the statistics the scale of 164 that same exact disclaimer as before an eventual collection M2 repaints like no other we know that this is not directly a repaint of that because that's their simpler series no opening hood no uh, opening doors whatsoever I'm just gonna take this off Right, there's the top of it, and there we have the car itself. It looks really nice, like in terms of its aesthetics and its appearance. Just too bad about the defects. And I'm going to see if... The one thing I will all say about M2 though is at least they offer you that option. I'm gonna try and dismantle it and see if I can correct it. But it might be like really hard, so I don't want to damage it further. But as you can see, the door doesn't quite line up with the car. It kind of wants to droop. And the hood, no matter how I shut it, you can see that gap plane right there. Which is relatively disappointing. Although it does almost line up with the front so I don't know if that's just a defect with the installation, maybe. And then I'll take a look at it after. And they have gone back to the black screws. I don't see why they don't standardize that between all of their lines. You guys remember from the last video, it's the silvery screws. They're similar to computer screws. They're easy to strip. I mean, these ones too, if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna absolutely destroy them. And then there, once again, I'm bringing up just the difference in the base. This looks more showy. And then you see the very plain base. This is the, the auto drivers. Very, like not very basic, but basic enough. The hood does not open whatsoever. Like the detail on this one is very nice. And you can easily see there the 2020 cast lines, very easily legible, 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. It doesn't say Hemi on there, which I don't quite remember if it did on the other one. But anyway, it doesn't. Uh, you can see the splitter, the front there. And the other side door, door does not want to open. You can you get a very good view of the interior details. Uh, 
Because usually I've never had a problem with M2. They do it really well. Like I said, they detail most of the time. It's just sometimes their quality starts to slip. And then you get things where that huge gap, I guess, is going to bother me. So there we have it, all the moving parts. You get very good engine detail there, as usual with M2. Like I said, I've rarely had an issue with M2. They don't often miss the painting. They don't miss certain individual parts. But it is very simple around the base, as you can see. The whole thing is just red. And it does look very nice. So I want to say later on, I'm going to take it apart and attempt to fix that. Uh, it'll, it'll have three main spots. And then you can see the gap in the doors. It might just be this one. I'm not telling people not to buy it. but. You can see the gap right there that's not on this side. Like this side is more or less flush. And then this side, you see a gap there and a gap there. And then once again, no rearview mirrors. But you can see the clear hood. Defect. And let's just check how it rolls. Oh, this one actually doesn't roll too, too badly. It's wobbly, which is also disappointing. And as you can see there, again, I brought it up. With Auto World last week, you can see the extra rubber there for this wheel, which is making it kind of wobble. But I can, you know, like I said, you can take the wheels out, and it's also in this tire as well, so it's not just the front one doesn't appear to have any serious issues. And this one seems to be the best of the bunch. Uh, other than that, and I do like that, you know, all four wheels are the same size. It's not like this one where the it has that drag stressed or a sort of rear tire type. It's a Dodge Charger, so I got it anyway. And different colored exhaust. You can see the basics of the under here. The the screw. So how this is done is you take this screw out and it latches in and it'll come out. I'll do that later. So here we have it, the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi from M2 Cast Lines. Thank you guys for watching and till the next one.